Now I'm going to talk about Virtual Insanity, the Jamiroquai classic music video. I'm talking about this because Jonathan Glazer, the director of this music video, is nominated for Best Director this year for Zone of Interest, which I have not seen or reviewed yet. But I actually saw this video when it was a new music video, and it was considered MTV would sometimes have this little tag before it that said Breakthrough Video, um, which then it won the VM the Video Music Award for Breakthrough Video. This is the famous video of uh, the lead singer of Jamiroquai, I believe it's called JK, is dancing around this room as the room, you s it looks like the floor is moving and he's dancing around these couches which are moving sort of with the floor and stuff, but it is actually not the floor is moving. He wanted to use the things like at the airport, I forget what they're called, which they did use at the Video Music Awards when he performed and they left there and Beck used and a lot of people who <laughs> performed at the Video Music Awards were doing the Jamiroquai thing. They actually moved the room on the floor. The room moved, not the floor moved, but because of visual effects and they probably had the cameras uh, connected to the room, it looks like the floor is moving much like how in Fred Astaire did it and like I've seen lots of people do it where like they'll move someone will walk on the ceiling and they have the camera stuck on the uh, building and they move it around and it looks like anyway it's a simple camera trick but um, what's cool about this is it looks like amazing it looks danceable it's all that but when I really went into it and the making of it here's something this video is only four shots completely it is only four shots why does this work so well because if you think of it it doesn't feel like it's four shots it feels like it's so alive and there's so much going fucking on and it's so you see things moving and there's so, the songs going everything like that this is simple like fred assayer shit right here is like it's wonderful to see him dancing it's wonderful to see him move with the background and him dancing and his exuberance in the song and that is good direction it's what george stevens did with a uh, swing time with friend ginger it's whoever directed top hat i'm sure someone will correct me uh it's what how those things work because when i'm watching fred astaire dance and i like fred astaire so let's bring up or people bring up uh, break in two but in break in one when he does the thing in the store with the the broom and stuff it doesn't matter that there are a lot of cutting you're you're doing the performance but because the background is moving in such a wonderful way that performance is accentuated and given magic because he was saying how the the performer the the lead singer of Jamiroquai saying he's been performing that way his whole life and in fact when he was selling the video to Jonathan Glazer they went in a pub and they went outside and he did like a dance on the the sidewalk and I'm sure that dance was cool and stuff but what makes it work is the cool you know sets and everything like that it's the same idea it's in all seriousness is the same idea that Drake did in that uh a hotline bling video but obviously this the song is better and um I, hotline looks fine morally it's got issues but uh in this it's like you can see him dance and he has such a presence in his dancing it captivates you and i think there's something to be said about a director who understands when to capture a performance and you look at his other hit from around this time of john hang laser's music videos of karma police which is not that many shots but you're so captivated by it but what's also interesting is you look at so many directors who want to show off like this is a tracking shot this is not that many shots look at this isn't that amazing and then you look at this and you don't think about that because you're drawn in by the performance you're drawn you're drawn in by the attitude of this video you never think about that stuff and you're just like sucked into it and because when i heard him say it's four shots and i looked at it again it is four shots but i've seen this video a hundred million times i don't know if you know what music mtv was like back in the day but they just keep repeating this shit over and over and over again and like, I never knew that because I was so into it and so constrained. I don't know what the fucking bird means. I don't know what the roach means. I don't know what the blood means. All I know is it's compelling, amazing imagery that sucks you in. That was the amazing thing about music video is it's experimentation. I'm sorry I'm moving my hand so much. It's experimentation. It's visuals. It doesn't have to mean anything, but it's just an amazing thing to go into. And I just really absolutely loved this video and i think jonathan Gillies did an amazing job with it and compels you to watch it again and again one video of the year that year not best director back one for new pollution which is an also a really good video but the execution is amazing and it shows a real great director who understands how to use a performer use the location and execute an idea in such a great way 
that it brings you in to an amazing song like this music video did. And I think, you know, it maybe this band is considered sort of a video one-hit wonder rather than a song one-hit wonder. But goddamn, did this compel you um, in ways that very few videos can. And um, just an amazing, fun video that really captures the performance of somebody. And, you know, I just always love this thing. So um, I think Jonathan Glazer really showed someone who understands music videos of form and understands how to do that. And I understand there's a Family Guy reference and everyone wants me to mention it. And I just did. It's fine. But this video is a real piece of art that you use everything to get it to work as well as it does. Thank you.